What's up guys, Ben Samalak TV here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking time to check out this video. We don't know how much time we have. We want to take advantage of the time we have. We want to, do you want to change your future? Do you want to uh, have, you know, more than you have right now? Do you want to have that million dollars in the bank? Do you want to have that healthier life? Do you want to have those relationships you don't have? Well, we need to we need to will those into being. We really need to make those things happen. And that's the more I'm learning and seeing in life, right? Body, soul, and spirit. We need to we need to see and have visions of what we would like. We are in the image and likeness of God. We need to know who we are first. You are not somebody who was put on this earth to live less, to live, you know, not to, to achieve and to have those things that you know you should have. We were not made to work, you know, nine to nine for peanuts with a broken down car, broken down home, a broken down life. These are not, this is not the life that we were made to have. We are made in God's image and likeness. We are his children. We are, we are, God created us. So, but we need to, we need to get out of the mind. You know, we need to use our mind, our emotion, our wolf, and we need to use our body and we need to use our spirit to get to where we need to be, where we know we should be. We need to visualize it. We don't know how much time we have. I was watching a, a video and I liked it. It said that our life is like an hourglass right above our head. We, our life is like that hourglass. You know, when, you, when someone says, give me a minute, you know, you can visualize that hourglass where the sand runs down and on the bottom, that's, that's the past, right? And on the top, that's the future. We all, we are like an hourglass. We have the, the sand that's already gone by. We know how much time has gone by. We don't know what's left in, in our uh, hourglass, right? Or, or 10 hour glass or, or one minute glass. The sand above our head might just be a couple grains left. It might be, you know, half halfway filled up still. We don't know. We don't know. And so sometimes we worry so much. We we get so uh, anxious about tomorrow. We get so, you know, we 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 have our the things we want to achieve. So on one side, we want to achieve goals. We want to, you know, we want to better our future. But on the other hand, we should be very intentional about it, enjoying the present, enjoying what we do have, enjoy our family, enjoy what we're doing, enjoy our health, enjoy whatever we have, you know. Even if it's not a lot, you know, we have breath today. We can enjoy that because we don't know if we're going to have breath tomorrow. So that's something we need to think about. We don't know how much time we really have left. So let's really be intentional about enjoying what we have today. So when we're at work, let's enjoy being at work. Let's be intentional about getting our job done right and doing the best we can. When we are then with our family, let's not think about work. Let's enjoy being with our family and be intentional about enjoying those moments we are having and creating. And and, and when we're at the gym, let's not uh, let's not you know wish to be at the beach. Beach. Let's be intentional about enjoying being at the gym and making it happen when we're there, when we're at work, make it happen when we're with our family, make it happen. And let's really enjoy the moments we have. And then with that being said, those moments we are enjoying and being intentional about will then uh, will then come to uh, will bear us fruit in the future of what we want and what we visualize, what we should have and what we want our life to be. If you don't see and you don't write down what the plans of where you want your future to be, then we'll never get there. If you want to have that big house or that money or that rela fixed relationship or that relationship or that the body you want or the health you want, then you need to take your, not just your mind and, and think of it. You need to use your body, your hand to write it down. Then you need to use your will to make it happen. We can, you know, I love positive ta uh, talking, right? Because I've made videos about that where when you speak positive to yourself, you know, you have two ears. When you speak positive, not only to other people, but to yourself, that will change your subconscious to to start to, uh, to, to you know, be someone, to make you to be the person that you want to be or that you're speaking into being. But then you still need your work. It takes discipline to make that vision come true. It takes the body. So we need to work on our body, work on our, our you know, work on our the, the, the body. Then we need to work on the soul. We need to get our mind in track. We need to get our will in track and we need to get our emotions in track. So this morning when you woke up and you were depressed and you were anxious, that's our emotion. That emotion is, is taking control and taking you in a direction you don't want to go. So you need to 
take control of that emotion. You were created in God's image. You are in control. So you use your spirit then to, to get everything else in control, your mind, your emotion, your will, and your body to then do what it needs to do to where you need to be, to where you know that you should be. You know, we, and we, we also know that God has a will. So it shouldn't be just our will be done. It should be his will be done. So that's a lot of time what we leave out of the equation. So as we're going after our visions and our goals and our dreams, we, we still fun, wonder why are we hitting ourselves our heads against a wall? Why are we still not happy once we achieve those goals? Because we still have to, we have to realize that it's not just about perfecting our body and our soul. We have a spirit and God created us with a spirit that is only happy and only fulfilled and only rich when it's brought into alignment with God's will for us. So that's something that we also need to learn. But that being said, I, I wish you all, I, I wanna be somebody, right? Not who's just uh, becoming rich for myself, fulfilling my own dreams and desires. We wanna be, cause you can do that and be a criminal. You can do that and be a, a mean person. You can do that and, and just be a nasty person. I wanna be someone who's helping other people as well. So as I'm attaining my visions and dreams and goals and, and aligning myself with God's will for my life, I also want to help others achieve their dreams and visions and, and help people, uh, not, not help people by giving handouts as I start to attain wealth and growth as I have been and will be. I want to help them get on the track. I want to help you get on the track of wealth and growth in your own life so that you can be somebody who can attain those things for yourself and change your own life. And that's what you want, right? You Nobody wants a handout. Nobody, everybody knows. When they passed out the stimulus checks for the, for the pandemic, those checks lasted for maybe your rent or your car payment or your food payment and they were gone, right? We can't depend on other people or the government to give us this money or to bail us out or to come save us. Nobody's coming to save us. We have to be the ones turning to God and and getting that strength from our spirit and putting our mind, emotion, will into subjection and putting our body under subjection so that it will do what we know it needs to do. And we will go where we know we want to go and where we need to go. And we will be where we want to be in the house we want to be in, driving the car we want to be driving in, in with a, a relationship we want to be, we want to be with and following God's will so that when we know this life is done, it wasn't just being passed on to somebody else and, and, and that's it. We know that what we doing this life will affect eternity and by that as we live this life with that in mind we could be ones who are not just outwardly rich not just rich in the soul but also rich in the spirit and we will also be rich in eternal life so thanks for tuning in i hope that helped ben sam like tv take care